President Biden branding Russian President Vladimir Putin a war criminal for the first time since the Russian invasion of Ukraine began. The Kremlin calling his comments unacceptable and unforgivable for a head of state whose bombs killed hundreds of thousands of people around the world. Mark, it was notable that Biden didn't say this in any prepared remarks, but he did uh, say that off the cuff, if you will, when asked about it. And, and he has never been good off the cuff. I mean, look, there, there's no doubt these are war crimes, crimes against humanity. He's destroying civilian buildings like, like maternity wards and things like that, murdering civilians. But Biden has repeatedly said, at least when he's reading a teleprompter, that he doesn't want to escalate things. And, and look, while it's open for interpretation, that statement sounds like at least a little bit of escalation to me when you're dealing with a, with a madman. So, look, I, I mean, he obviously is not polished when it comes to speaking off the cuff. He's got big issues with that. That's why, you know, when, during, the, um, uh, during his campaign, he was kind of hiding out in the basement, and yet they've kind of kept him under the radar, only allowed to talk to a camera when, when a speech is prepared. Um, so, you know, once again, he has gotten himself into trouble by saying something off the cuff that may actually have some negative consequences for us. But, Mitch, I'll note that that has been clearly the concern out of this White House is that anything, uh, even with the Biden administration withheld a shipment of arms to Ukraine last spring after Russia and Putin had started moving troops toward the Ukraine border to avoid, again, provocation. But our, for lack of a better word, timidity has, has not stopped the escalation by Putin and the increasing brutality of his attacks. So what say you to, to Biden's comment? Because Mark was saying, you know, is it provocative? And I'll just note one more thing. The Russian government still to this day holds a seat on the United Nations Human Rights Council. Yeah, I, I listen, Biden's behavior is a thousand percent uh, appropriate to say it something like it's a war, crim war crime because he's dealing with somebody in Putin who is incredibly provocative. And I think if we learned anything from the 45th president of the United States, that, you know, provocative talk with other world leaders actually earns your respect. It may not be politically correct. It may not be um, woke, but the reality is, I think that's what they respect. So, um, you know, he, he called it right the second time, at least, when he doubled back to talk to Jackie Heinrich. And I think, you know, words matter and calling it for what you see it. And I think the biggest issue is mm -hmm. beyond the, the bloodshed in Ukraine is the humanitarian crisis that exists in bordering countries with three million refugees with nowhere to live. And that, to me, is, is adding sort of tragedy to tragedy. And we're still struggling to um, keep Af um, Afghanistan um, refugees or people who came into the United States in the United States. So that's something that we as a nation still haven't even come to grips with. Thank you both, gentlemen.